Hi everybody, we wanted to get together and let you know what we're doing these days. What are we doing? <laughs> we are finally recording music that has been played in worship services week after week for years. Yeah, we started we started writing worship specifically, I guess, around 2009. And uh, the Lord started giving us songs and uh, we were in a church that was allowing us to bring them to the congregation and, and what a blessing it was to see people to begin to sing songs and sing the words that God had given you and uh, it was really humbling it was uh, definitely not anything to get puffed up about because we knew that the words came from God and it was really nice to watch people really give those words back to God in worship and uh, and we've been doing that for a long time and uh, seen a lot of success on that level. And, but we felt like that uh, that wasn't where they were supposed to end, was just in that congregation. We'd like to share them with other congregations. And we've struggled a little bit to try to find out how do you get to that next level? Yeah, because we've had studios access before in our basement. The last four or five years, we really started listening to a lot of the teachings under worship leader Rick Pino, and there was a lot of encouragement about the writing and launching the music. And specifically, two years ago, we got into an internship program with him where he mentored us, and, and we made a few trips to Texas and got in the room with him. He and his partner, Adam Carpenter, really walked us through some steps. Now we're kind of in a situation with them where our music will be distributed under Watershed Music, which is their business, their company. And we're in a community of people that went through the same thing. A lot of them, some of them had never written songs before, so they were learning to write the songs and then learning how to get into a congregation where they could do these songs in a worship setting. And we were stuck at step two for decades just constantly doing songs that Carl had written or we had written together and just not taking it to the next step and people would ask us are you ever going to record these well and, and it wasn't even really a matter of just recording them it's like what do you do with it after you record them and uh, I mean you can record them all day long but how do you get them out there and so we're making efforts at this point uh, with uh, Watershed and uh, Rick Pino of of getting some material out there and get it released and uh, and uh, we wanted to come to you guys and talk to you a little bit about it and when he says out there that means you can find them on Spotify <laughs> and Apple Music and all of the platforms thanks to Watershed Music distributing it for us and doing the copyright we've got, we've got a lot of work ahead of us we're still in the process of recording some things and uh, God has been good to us. He's blessed us with a pretty good catalog of songs. And that these are not just uh, songs that uh, that we've just written. These are songs that people have been worshiping to and that people have connected with the Lord through. And uh, that, that means more to me than anything. We want to be people that are faithful over the things that God's entrusted us with. And we believe these songs are, are things that God has entrusted us with pretty much what's in the bag. Just wanted to keep you guys informed and thank you for hanging with us. Yes, thank you very much.